Right now, I look a right mug for saying that Roy Hodgson was a terrible idea. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Full time at St Mary Stadium, Crystal Palace win 2-0 away at Southampton. Here are the important stats. It's our first win, it's our first back-to-back -back away wins since a long time ago. Since last season, since uh, last year, over a year ago, uh, when we beat Watford and Wolves last year. It's our first time we've won three games in a row since 2020, since we had Roy Hodgson. Um, but in between, you know, the lockdown period that we had. Guys, I'm so, so proud of this team. And here's the most important stat of them all. We're now nine points clear of the relegation zone. We are now, uh, what is it, 13 points, I think it is, above the bottom of the Premier League. And we are now three points below Chelsea. What? what? Do you know what I mean? Like, from us having literally no direction in where we're going other than down under Vieira to now looking up under Roy Hodgson. It's, it's brilliant. And I know I may be overreacting. Yes, it was a poor Leicester side. Yes, Leeds crumbled. Yes, we've played bottom in the league. But guys, it's, it's made, now making me feel a lot more happier to be a Palace fan and it's making me a lot more ambitious going forward. I'm now looking forward to next season. I, I think we've got some direction now. We've got some future in this club. And... You know, we've still got winnable games on the way. We've still got Everton at home, who lost today. We've got Wolves away. That will be tough. We've got West Ham at home, a game that we can win and a game that I will be vlogging. Um, then we've got Tottenham. You know, Tottenham, it's, we, we'd we never beat Tottenham away, but hey, Bournemouth did it. We've got Bournemouth at home. That We could win that. We've got a Fulham away. They're not great right now. And we've still got to play Nottingham Forest as well. Guys, it's looking really, really good today. My man of the match was Eze, 100%. Full credit to Roy Hodgson for not changing anything in this squad. I wasn't expecting him to, but I still give him full credit because it was the correct decision. I was a little bit concerned with our first half performance. Kept giving the ball away, didn't hold on to it for long enough to break Southampton down. But in the second half, we did that really, really well. And we could have we could have had more than two. You know, Southampton opened themselves right up for us. Uh, the goal from Eze, the first goal, brilliant from Jordan Ayew as well. I, I've got to give him a lot of credit as well for today. F bit fizzed in, it was a crap save from Bazunu and tapping from Eze. The second goal from Eze, though, contender for his goal of the season, 100%. Brilliant finish from Eberayese to make it 2-0 and to kill Southampton. And you know what? We were lucky to not concede today. Walcott, his uh, chance in the first half went wide. Um, Alcaraz, he had his chance that was uh, hit uh, hit the post at 2-0. Uh, he had a couple of chances as well. There was a chance from a set piece as well. Michael Walise hit, uh, hit the post right at the end with a free kick as well. It was a really good game, a really good result. 2-0, did what we needed to do against bottom of the league. But now we've got to go be at home to Everton and do that. The thing is, right, I think in terms of goal difference, if we convincingly beat Everton at home next week, we could overtake Chelsea in the Premier League table. And then we're looking more up than down after that. And the fact that we've got Wolves... L l listen, right, everyone was saying that today... Three wins in a row is basically unheard of because we haven't done that in three years. Um, but look, we've done it. I, I've got a lot of ambition in this team now. And I will be surprised if we don't get anything out of Everton next week. Dead straight. Because Everton aren't great defensively. I saw their highlights against Fulham. We can break them down with the players that we have. And with Roy's mentality... I think it's brilliant. For a 75-year-old man, he's done an absolutely brilliant, brilliant job. Like I said in the vid start of the video, I feel a right muck of doubt in him. I know a lot of people did as well, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I said that, you know, the club, lack of planning, you know, being lazy about it, 
but actually it was the best decision to make. And I'm so happy with him, happy with the team, not happy with the board because I want them to invest in the summer, but I've got so much more energy now when it comes to this club. From July till March, I was just going through the motions really, and so were the players. But now new life has been injected into this club. New life from an old life, let's say. As you can hear, guys, I, I'm not really well at the moment. My voice isn't as um, you know powerful as it normally is. So I'm going to end the video there, guys, before I start having a coughing fit. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week for when Crystal Palace face Everton. I've got some brilliant videos lined up. Everton review. Wolves live stream in midweek because I can watch the whole game and then the vlog for Crystal Palace against West Ham as it is a lunchtime kickoff. I'm really looking forward to making those videos, guys, and I hope you'll be looking forward to watching them. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching.